My name is Cynthia Huff. Born in Newport, grew up in Hot Springs. Right now, life is a challenge from the bottom of my heart. My life and my granddaughter's and my son's life all combined has been hard. Truthfully, I don't know how it started or when it's going to end. It's still a challenge, but it's a fight that I got a chance in. I am the sole provider and caregiver for my granddaughter, Lashanti. My biggest dream for Lashanti is to graduate not only high school, but college. To just close her eyes and see a future with her walking the campus, graduating, making new friends, learning everything that she can and to keep going with her education. And, and I know that's going to be the only way to break the cycle that my family has gotten itself into. This is Lashanti and her dad at one of the visits. I'm fighting for my family. I'm fighting for a better way to the, my last breath, fighting. Our house means to me stability, thoughtfulness, kindness. I cannot say it enough how much they care about their clients. They've given me more intelligence as to who I am. They've given me more, more power in my voice. And it's the smallest thing. I needed work shoes one day and uh, couldn't afford them. And I, I called up there and I hate to call and say, I don't have shoes to go to work in. But they went and they found me a pair of shoes so that I could keep working, so that I could keep supporting my grandchild, so I could keep fighting for my son, so I could keep a roof over my head. All I know is the answers you need, the, the answers you're seeking, the, the questions you need to ask, and you don't know how to ask them, somebody there at our house can help you find them. Yeah, I, I still have struggles. I still have detours and problems and weight on my shoulders. I worry about everything, working, job security, saving, trying to save any kind of money. I just know that I know I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do but I'm still worried about getting her, Lashanti, into college. Number two, ready? She's blessed. She's smart enough to be something. The gift that she has, she has the potential to be a biochemical engineer. Marine biologist, she's that smart. I just need her to understand the potential that she has to be something other than just another statistic. At our house, we have a mission to help families who are working hard to make a better life for themselves. And uh, we, we want to support families and partner with families who are um, looking into the future, into a bright future, and are working hard to get there, who don't let obstacles slow them down, who are resilient, who have grit, who um, work hard, invest in themselves, support each other. The two of y'all are that in space. And um, I think that your story is one that has inspired me, has, in has inspired so many people here at our house, and is gonna inspire everyone who hears about it. Um, and so for all those reasons and more, it's my extreme pleasure to announce that we've selected you as our 2018 Resilient Family of the Year. We've got a few, got a few friends here to, uh, to tell us more about what I know you lying. Well, Mr. Milligan, tell us a little about what it is. Well, my name is Dennis Milligan. I'm the Arkansas Treasurer State. This is Emma Willis, the director of the Arkansas 529 oh College Group. And on behalf of the 529 program, y'all uh, $5,290 for your college and hard, hard work and uh, 
So with all that being said, congratulations. Thank you. So, I'm Asa Cottrell and I work for Arvest Bank here in town and we're a, we're a long time partner with our house. And they've told us some really great things about both of them. So we want to partner with the state in the 529 plan and we want to add an additional $10,000. Oh my God! It, it, it's, it's amazing. It's a wonderful thing that this program has done for so many. I feel more positive about my future, my granddaughter, Lashanti's future, my son's future, because of our house. You know, they say, God don't put no more on you than you can handle. I'm not backing down. I don't think I knew how much of a fight I had in me until I got with our house. I, I got blessed with help.